Hello, Gemini. Welcome. Welcome to my channel, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Sorry if my voice is a little raspy tonight. Um, I am still recovering from a cold, but I wanted to go ahead and do your love reading, okay? So this is going to be your love reading, a general love reading for April 1st through the 15th. Um, for those of you who are returning to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys commenting. I want to hear if this reading resonates. Uh, please share your stories. You know, I always love seeing them and reading them. Um, I do my best to try to respond to as many people as I can. Um, please do continue to like, share, and subscribe my video. It'll help me um, keep my little channel going, okay? So, uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium and I read tarot intuitively. So, I start with a channeled message from spirit and then we move on to the description of the cards okay so let's see what's happening for my Gemini's so Gemini April 1st through the 15th I'm feeling that um, I'm having a vision of something coming full circle okay in matters of love, something is coming full circle for you. And I also keep feeling like this anxiousness. Some of you are feeling anxious about your love life in April. And I feel like this has to do with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. There's some anxiousness, Gemini, around this, this energy. There's a lot of back and forth with this earth sign. This could be an earth sign. I also, I just, I strongly feel this could be an earth sign and also an air sign, an, a Libra, Aquarius, another Gemini. There's a lot of anxiety around this partnership. And I feel that you guys have been off and on. There's a lot of push pull here. There's a lot of like bumping heads. And I feel like you're feeling a little bit anxious about this relationship because it's not really flowing the way that you want it to flow, Gemini. And I'm and Gemini, I'm feeling fear. There's there's fear around this connection with this person if you're dealing with this person. If you don't have anyone in your life right now um, with those signs, you may encounter someone who is an earth sign coming towards you this month and I feel like you're just trying to kind of grasp what it is that you're feeling towards this person and I keep seeing you wanting to run out like you're running out of a door like you're running out and then you're coming back in so you you've got to make some decisions this month about this person because for a lot of you I feel like you've been dealing with them for a really long time okay air sign sun moon or rising Definitely dealing with a Libra. Definitely with an Aquarius. There's just a strong earth, air energy. So what is the general message here for love for my Geminis? April 1st. I feel that you guys, some of you guys are tired of running from love. I'm seeing that you're, you're tired of running away from commitment. You're tired of running away from a partner and I feel like you guys have been kind of keeping a distance from someone that you loved for a really long time in silence there's someone that you have loved dearly in silence and I feel like you're just tired of running from this situation because this could be a twin flame situation and this can involve um Definitely Libra is one of your your twin flames. A Scorpio is definitely a twin flame. Sun, moon, or rising.
an Aquarius rising specifically, okay? So I feel like this month is really about making decisions um, in matters of your heart because Gemini, the reality is you're in control. You're in control of this situation. Your partner or the person who's been waiting on the out, outskirts or they've been waiting outside of your life for you, they're waiting for you. They're not going anywhere. They love you. And I feel like balls in your court and you know that and it's making you nervous because you know, you know who you want, right? But it's like a matter of just kind of saying, like, it's almost like you have to surrender to your heart this month in April, the beginning of the week. If you want results in matters of your partnerships, Gemini, you're going to have to open your heart no matter how scary it is. And I know, I see it. I see the fear. And I feel it. Gemini, can I get a little clarifier? Nine of Swords. Love. So there was a situation in the past when you were in a relationship or you loved someone and they crushed you. I'm seeing that someone crushed you terribly. And I feel like after the situation, you literally like, you have not been the same since. And I feel like you're recovering, but it's like, you just don't know how to love. Like you don't, you're having a really hard time loving and recovering. Look at that bottom of the deck we're faced with the ace of cups you have emotions boiling inside of you gemini like you legit have like emotions that are completely stored and no one knows how you're feeling because you're hiding yourself you're hiding all all these feelings here okay so again if you don't find a po positive outlet this month this outpour of emotion is going to come out in a negative way. So you need an outlet for your pain, Gemini. For whatever pain you're dealing with in matters of the heart. And I feel that a big part of it is that you're separated from someone that you love. You're separated. You're not talking to someone that you love. You've been... I just... I feel like... Intuitively, I feel like there's so much confusion and indecisiveness around who you want and what you want, okay? And in turn, it's causing the Nine of Swords, okay? There's a lot of stress. There is a lot of thinking. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of, like, kind of feeling, you're, you're feeling tied, like your, your mind, your mind is kind of going in circles, Gemini and I'm seeing that you keep everywhere you go you may be thinking about this person and you're running into people and you think it's the person that you loved okay I do feel that you have a strong connection to an earth sign here Virgo Taurus Capricorn strong strong connection but the problem is, is that I feel like you're not done healing yet. There's still a lot of repressed emotions. There's still a lot of stuff you're holding on to. And some of you are dealing with us Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer as well. There's just a lot. Like you have a third party situation. You have two other people on your mind. You may have an ex that you're healing from. This is the big sword right here. This is that ex that really crushed you. And now you're dealing with two people that you can't choose. Like you can't choose one or the other. There is also blocked communication. Um, there's stagnant energy in matters of love. You're not talking to the person that you want to talk to, which is causing you a lot of grief, okay? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> Guess you guys have a lot to say right now. Woo! All right. Um, so... I keep hearing the words coming to a conclusion. So I do feel that you guys are going to definitely come into um, 
you're gonna, you're gonna definitely, uh, you're gonna come in to the middle of the month and you're gonna make a decision. I do see that you're gonna make a decision. And it's because I think you're gonna realize that you can't live without this person. Definitely water, energy, sun, moon, or rising, or fire, sun, okay? Um, I see all the signs here, but specifically earth, water in their chart, and air in their chart. So what opportunities does Gemini have? Yeah, exactly. You guys are living in the past. That Six of Cups almost wanted to jump out. You guys are definitely living in your past. What, um, Gemini, what opportunities in love does Gemini have? The first through the 15th. You have definitely have a lot of options okay you have the seven of cups and the and the ten of pentacles you have a lot of options to choose from there's a lot of fantasy here about who you want to settle down with you have an ideal of who you want a legacy with okay this is about legacy this is about that long term like who you who you're gonna lock it down with like who you see yourself building with okay you have a lot of options right now <coughs> or this is unclear for some of you guys maybe some of you guys are not really understanding who you want to end up with you're trying to figure out what stability means to you you're trying to figure out if marriage is something you want to do you're trying to figure out what kind of end goal you have here can I get a clarifier for an opportunity ten of pentacles Gemini yeah, I see, I see my Geminis going into the sand. You're finding these beautiful gems that are shining and they're rare. Like you're looking at them in awe because they're rare. So there's someone that you know you love that's a rarity. They're a rare gemstone. But yet again, there's a sense of like in the moment, you really like this person and you find them completely outstanding and a polished gem. But... They may have a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising, okay? Um, but again, maybe you guys are completely polar opposites. Maybe you guys don't really know, you know, there's a lot of tension because you don't know how to bring your relationship into balance. Um, this is about a card of just not necessarily being the same element. Like, that would be, like, a water and fire, you know? Something that isn't natural, but you guys make it work. But your opportunity here is to bring your spiritual self into balance. Bring yourself into an awakening with or without your partner. <coughs> this is more about you, right? This is more about your growth. This is more about you stepping into your power, Gemini. What is blocking Gemini from love, please? <clears throat> what is blocking Gemini from love? Okay, some of you guys like the reality. I'll be honest with you what I'm seeing here. Some of you Geminis, you don't want to give. And I feel that it's because in the past you gave to someone tremendously and they burned you and now you don't want to give. Now you're feeling a little bit jaded, okay? Um, you may have a third-party situation. You're dealing with the Libra. I feel here you are giving a lot to this Libra. So this is in your blockage. You were giving a lot to this air sign, and I feel like they took you for granted. I feel you are giving and giving, and you burned yourself out, okay? And now as a blockage, you don't want to give. This is the hangman in reverse. You're having a hard time coming out of isolation. Although this is in reverse, this is still talking about kind of like you're, you're trying to break free from being stuck or from feeling stuck, but you're having a hard time doing that. And I also see that there is a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in the picture. 
as a possible third party situation who you have a past with. Um, they're blocking you because you love this person, but you feel that they're not living to their best potential. They're not in their upright. So this woman is kind of just you feel like they may be controlling your mind, okay? Because the hangman, to me, it's Neptune energy, right? It's like the illusion. But they may have a hold on you on a psychic level. This is all about psychic energy, too. They may have a hold on you, and it's, it's bothering you because you're like, get out of my head. So what is the outcome for your love reading April 1st through the 15th? What is the outcome here? I feel like you guys are going to make a decision. There's a decision between two people, two situations, and one person from the past. Like, you're going to have to decide if you want to continue to dwell on the past or you're going to move forward. Because I see that there's two options here for you that are looking good, right? They're looking promising. So the outcome for love, Eight of Cups, one more card for Gemini. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of energy that needs to be worked out. Um, I don't really see, I do see you making a decision, but I see mostly that after you make this decision, you may have to... You're going to leave, so you're going to make a decision, and then you're going to go off and journey on your own. You're going to leave it behind. Because although you know deep in your heart where your heart's at, you need time. You need time to really think about where you're headed, what you're doing, what is going on, and you're going to leave your cups that you've established to search for yourself. So again, it's like a cycle, right? It's like two steps forward, two steps back. I feel like <coughs> you're afraid of yourself, Gemini. You're afraid of yourself. You're afraid of the depths of your emotions. But I do see progress, okay? I do see progress here. And I also see that you're going to come out of battle with someone. Like you're done. You're done fighting. You're done. You're healing. You're healing now, okay? Um, but the outcome here with this Virgo or Taurus is not looking good. It's not. Because there is a lack of self-care and a lack of of balance here between both of you. I feel like this this earth energy wants more from you right now than you can give. They want more, they want this, they want that, and you're not able to give it because guess what? You're trying to like figure yourself out. Like you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on in your life. You're a little confused, which is okay. But again, make time for yourself. Don't run from your own feelings. You're going to want to. With Aries season feeling, with um, <coughs> Mars now in Gemini, you're going to want to freaking run. Okay? And again, we have another Earth energy here popping up. So definitely big on Earth the beginning of the month. Um, if these people truly love you, they're going to let you explore yourself without condemning you. Love, love is about detachment, not attachment, okay? When you love someone, right, the essence of loving someone is saying, I love you even when you're soul searching. Like, even if that means not with me, I still care and I still love you. That's love. Love is not possessing someone and forcing someone to be with you and then throwing a fit if they don't want to be with you, right? And I think this person needs to understand that as a mutable sign, as someone who needs a lot of flexibility and a lot of room to grow, to think, you need your freedom, right? 
The only way to keep you happy, Gemini, is if someone gives you the room to be you. If this person cannot give you the room to be you, to create the world that you want to create for yourself so you guys could eventually grow together and build together, then this isn't going to work, you know? But so far, I feel like you're deciding on, you're going to make a decision, but shortly after your decision, you're definitely going to go venture off. Let's finish off with a Oracle card, okay? What messages does Spirit have for you in matters of love? trying to get the camera in here to get your energy so let's see whoop, whoop. let's see guys Gemini one Oracle card please spirit I ask you to provide guidance for my Geminis. Okay. The presence of love will always cast out fear. The presence of love, let me get that real quick. The presence of love will always cast out fear, okay? So that's really touching base on your own fear of connecting. My capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up. The compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I'm lost. It's love, you guys. It is. It's about communication. It's about compassion. So, I mean, I really just want you guys to take your time. Take your time to make this decision because this is going to be a life-changing decision for you in matters of the heart, okay? Thank you so much, and I will see you guys for your general reading. Bye.